Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope you are doing well. Okay, I think in one of our daily reads we had talked about, um, you know, when we make changes that people also in our lives, uh, you know, they come in and they go out, obviously. And uh, I think that that's what today is. I really think today is, is a relationship read. I think that um, something or someone, I think it's more someone, um, may be kind of holding you back here. Sometimes when we don't know where holdups are, when we're trying to proceed somewhere in something, it ends up being that the relationship um, plays a part in it, okay? And I think that that's what today is, is coming up to. For those of you that aren't in this boat, I'm going to try to explain in the end how this could be, you know, a choice between business ventures or, or different areas like that. But for the majority of you, this is going to be relationship-based because before I even... Um, put the cards down. I kept seeing a number seven, okay, and I just kept hearing choices, choices, and I threw a fortune card too, and we have the gate, okay? That card is, you hold the key to open your future to your destiny, obviously, but it's telling you here that there's an unavoidable obstacle here that stands between you and your goal, and I really think that that's a person, okay? If you look here, we've got two kings, the ace of cups, and the outbound card is the seven of cups. There's a lot of cup action in here, okay? Um, we come in with the king of wands, okay? First of all, these aren't gender specific because this is a general read, but I'm, you're going to hear me explain it that way. So pertain it, you know, change it around to how it fits for you, but kings are fire sign no matter what element they're in okay so first and foremost they're fire okay and then they come in this one is uh, the king of wands so he's fire fire okay that's the the energy that you're coming in with today although I think it's a person too what we've got here is the king of cups he is uh, fire and water okay that's that element there he's a more um, emotional archetype than uh, fire fire so pretend that you know, not even pretend, it, it actually is. It's What we've got going to planet-wise is we've got Aries and we've got Pisces, okay? I don't know enough about astrology to go into that, but that's where um, those are those are the, the, plant, the houses here, okay? And that's the first house and the twelfth house. That is tough, okay? That, that's tough, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the aspects are in the twelfth house, okay? Um, We've also got the eight house lit up here, which is the eight, I'm sorry, the seven of cups in the end, okay? That eight house is intimacy, sex, windfalls of, of finances, shared money, property, um, bonding with people, okay? The first house, which is the king of wands here, that's representing yourself, how you show up in the world, your personality, okay? And the king of cups is the twelfth house, okay? That's endings, secrets. That's a tough house, okay? And there's a lot of aspects there, okay? Things you don't want other people to see, you know, where the bodies are buried, like that, that kind of stuff, right? The monsters under the bed, in the closet stuff. That's that's that, okay? So what I'm going to say here is I really think this is about um, either a choice between two people or someone holding someone back. You can come in as one of these kings too and just, you know, trying to balance this out, but but it's for the majority of you it's 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 a relationship read. So how I see this is, and again, I think number seven pertains to this, so maybe go back seven years, seven months, something surrounding a seven. So write that down. Um plays a part here. Seven is a very mystical, magical number, okay? It's a spiritual lesson usually that's got some significance to it, meaning it's going to leave some kind of staying power somewhere. Um, when those lessons show up, they're to sustain us going forward, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, the archetypes that these are people, okay? The king of wands here. I'm going to compare these two kings, all right? You've got Mr. Big here opposed to Mr. Green Jeans here with the king of cups okay so they're very different dynamics of people all right your object here is to surround yourself with like-minded people okay because they're going to propel you forward you you don't want to get into or stay in a relationship with someone that is going to be uh, intimidated by your growth because that turns into 
what I'll show you here in a little bit, okay? So you come in with the King of Wands, okay? That is someone who is very, very self-assured, okay? They're a very prominent business person. They have presence, okay? They have charisma. They, they definitely, when they're in a room, you know they're in the room because they light it up, okay? This is someone who um, is, they direct their destiny. If something presents them with a problem, they take care of it right away. They face things head on, okay? It's a very fire energy. I will say this, though. With male Aries, they are the most mysterious, mysterious sign of the Zodiac. When I ever have a private reading and it's a relationship issue and, and the person is always saying, I just, the, the, the issue is that they can't ever read this person. They never know really where they stand or, or where this other person is coming from. They're that mysterious, okay? So, so that could be... Um, just one aspect. It doesn't mean that this is an Aries person, but I'm throwing this out there because these are the, the signs that are lit up, okay? So this is also someone who is very devoted. They're very confident. They're very mature. They're worldly, educated, impeccable social skills, okay? Um, very comfortable in their skin, okay? Um, now, we come down here. We leave Mr. Biggs up there, and we come down to Mr. Green Jeans here, okay? And I just say that because it's, it's that much of a difference, okay? This is a very um, masculine but sensitive kind of person, okay? This is someone that pulls on their past to go forward, all right? Um, definitely very forward-moving, dependable, okay? Considerate. Um, what I'm going to say about this, though, is... This is someone, though, that on the flip side, and this is why I kind of was going where I was going with the having someone hold you back. This is a great person, okay? You're looking at, as far as business even perspectives, you're looking at, again, that's why I'm using these, Mr. Big as the, the, the corporate, the entrepreneur, right, the business owner, okay? You're looking at the King of Cups here as being, you know, more of a, you know, counselor or professor or something in, in that regard or, you know, a, a healer, someone in that realm. Just very, very different personalities. The flip side to the king of coins here and why I, I was mentioning this, because he shows up with the, excuse me, with the ace of cups. So this, I think, really is a new relationship. It's the seed of something, okay? The flip side to this person would be someone that would be very, very intimidated, I think, by growth, by your growth. So I'm going to say make sure that if this is the kind of person that you're with, that it's someone that's going to support you. Because this person, on the flip side, can become very, very uh, violent, jealous, it, it, Gonna feel you're gonna you're gonna ignite some things like again from the past, from that closet, from you know jealousies from the past, past relationships that didn't work out. It's they don't really support you as far as you're gonna run into resistance. And I really think, and I wouldn't say it if I didn't feel it too. I think that this may be your obstacle. That's that's just it's the guilt of you know moving ahead. What's gonna happen to me? You're gonna leave me behind. How am I gonna keep up? It's that guilt that may be holding you back. So it's just something to think about, and that's the only reason I'm putting that out there. That's not going to pertain to everyone, okay? Um, but I've got to touch upon it, okay? I'm going to say this. Use your intuition here. Your heart is, is, is your intuition. It's the middle ground between your emotions. You've got a lot of water here, okay? And your intellect. Go between there. Just just feel from your heart, okay? That's where you're going to be going here. But balance those, all right? What gives you inner peace is really where you should be pulling from here. Who is going to support you? Who's going to be, you know, the two souls merging to make each other better people? Or who is going to suffocate you, right? That's that's really the... The, the worst that's going to happen with the, the fire sign king here is they're self-destructive on the flip side. So they're, they, they're self-destructive with obsessions, things like that. The king of coins, I'm sorry, the king of cups is gets, gets that jealous uh, uh, 
violent kind of, that's where relationships turn to stalking situations, things like that. And again, I'm just putting this out there because I need you to know how different these two kind of people are, okay? Um, anyhow, we all have more than one side to us, right? But these are the flip sides. That's why I'm putting this out here. And given that the eight house is the seven of cups here, make wise choices for yourself. Make long-term choices for yourself. Don't make them from a this is the only choice I've got perspective. It's not true. You don't. You have endless choices here, okay? And again, I think that the gate may be showing up here too because if that's how you're thinking that you've only got one option here, you're the one shutting yourself out. But I really think that it's another person playing a part in this here, okay? Like I say, a lot of times when... You know, people will, will ask me, my relationships, I mean, I'm sorry, my, my career, it's just not going where I want, but yet it's, it's, it's hell on the home front. It all plays a part. It rolls over into different parts. That's why it never is really what it is, okay? But for the majority of you, this is going to be a relationship read here, okay? It's the seed of something, though, okay? So it's either a relationship that's current and it's got to take a course here that's going to support you or it needs to be cut loose okay um because that's what the seven uh of cups really means it's telling you to choose wisely don't choose a relationship based on what you think it can be choose it on what it is right now what is it showing you right now okay go off of that and use your intuition and your heart with that okay i'm not saying emotion be, be swamped in emotion because there's a lot of water here. So that's why I really think, too, someone's really doing a number on you, okay? Um, don't don't let that be your deciding factor because it will bite you in the ass come, come the future. It, it really will. You're, there's no way you can sustain being under that kind of uh, – you, you'll suffocate yourself. It just will not – it will not end well, okay? So I'm going to say that. Choose wisely. I really think this is a relationship read. Okay. If it's not, and it's you trying to decide between two kinds of jobs, okay, you're going to have to decide here long-term sustainability. What's going to get you uh, where you need to be long-term? Keep in mind, it's not just finance, okay? What is going to make you happy on a day-to-day -day basis? All right, because that's where this sits, too. Relationships, our jobs. The key to this major transition here that we're all doing is what in the moment, what in this day makes you the happiest? What brings you joy? What do you, what do you like getting up in the morning to do? And what do you say, oh, God, not another day of this, right? You're going to have to decipher between those two, all right? But somewhere in this equation, a person plays a role, a key role here. Okay, so, so choose that. Um, Choose the path again. Um, the Ace of Cups is is that card also stands for rapture. You know that's also a fire behind you that that gets you. Um, passion is prayer, right? What really lights you on fire here? Okay. Um, I got a lot of messages today, so again, I see the cards here. I know that they're aligning, but I've got to, more than anything, I've got to go with the messages that I'm getting. So for the majority of you, don't be stuck under someone that's not going to let you grow. It's, it's against the natural order of things, and nothing pleasant will happen there, okay? Um, that relationship at some point will come to a head, only you'll have maybe passed the opportunity here to get your the rest of your life in order, you know. Two souls that merge together and help each other grow, that's the healthy way to go here, okay? Um, a relationship that's that's codependent or, or isn't free-flowing is, is going to bite you in the ass at some point. It, it will. And like I said, the flip side to this relationship that's got you maybe under a stronghold is, you know, they are violent relationships. They are... Um, jealous relationships. They're, they're the relationships that turn into um, the stalking situations that, that are very, very dangerous, okay? I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just putting it all out here because you've, you've got to make really good choices for yourself. That's what this is about, okay? 
and your message really coming in with that gate is that there is an unavoidable obstacle here that stands between you and your goal, and I really think it's a person. So I've got to drop anchor there, okay? Um, again, if it's a job perspective, it's, it's one of either going into, you know, corporate, being an entrepreneur, your own business, okay? And the queen of, uh, I'm sorry, the king of cups here is, you know, being something in metaphysical. It can be a, a professor. It can be, you know, uh, legal, something in that arena, um, institutions, something like that. It's just someone with a more sensitive side up front, okay, than the king of wands. The king of wands, like I say, the only two comparisons I can give you as a visual takeaway is Mr. Biggs and Mr. Green Jeans, okay? So, so that's, that's basically where it goes. All right, it was pretty straightforward, guys, so um, that's basically what it is today. Okay, again, camp out on number seven. Look back seven years, see where you were then um, seven months ago. It, there's something surrounding a seven, okay? So there you have it. I hope that this helped in some way. If you need further clarification, please give me, uh, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to, to look at this for you, okay? Thank you so much.